there you have it. Love that video from Music in Place. That was Garth Weber's anthem to the pandemic, the lockdown blues. I don't know, but I think Garth and his buddies have a bad case of the blues. Don't worry, Garth, it's going to get better. Word has it that Garth was on a flip phone not long ago, but Music in Place, with them, they helped him create music for the virtual world, as you can see. Good evening, I'm Joe Lair, and I want to welcome you to the Music in Place Holiday Benefit. We are here to support Bay Area musicians and our music industry professionals. We have a wonderfully unique show for you tonight with Bay Area greats and soon-to-be greats introducing their songs. So, from my home to your homes, the tech team, Brendan West and Mike Hatfield say this is about as I'm gonna, good as I'm going to look all night. So let's get started. Our opening number highlights the ways in which we support some of the most prominent musicians in our community. Sadly, they've been struggling to do what they do best, playing music for our friends and our families and for their livelihood. So who is music in place? And why are we raising funds tonight? Well, with the onset of the pandemic, Music in Place was funded by a group of accomplished musicians that fortunately had other backgrounds and careers in business, technology, law, education, and the performing arts. The perfect group to serve this endeavor. And I'll add, Music in Place is a 501c3 tax-exempt organization. So that's good for you also. Because of the pandemic, nearly all our professional musicians and the production personnel suddenly lost the public venue. You'll hear from them tonight through a series of short interviews. Their lives abruptly changed. They lost any prospect for work and lost teaching opportunities that many depend upon to make ends meet. Without income, rent, food, normal living expenses becomes a significant challenge. But the loss was and is not just financial. Musicians need to make music. This is who they are. And we are all the beneficiaries. But since March, there's been no chance to get together to play and make music. Live venues still closed. And it looks like little hope for the months ahead. Frequently, musicians find studio jobs at today's live gig. Well, that entire networking infrastructure is gone too. The whole rhythm of the business is broken. And without live venues, an already difficult career has transformed into a financial and cultural chaos. Something had to be done. And so, enter music in place. <laughs> Yes. 
se va a despertar Cuántos ojos nos va What a knockout compilation. Oh, I think you're getting the picture. You know, as musicians themselves, the Music in Place founders decided to create a lifeline. Music in Place started a capital campaign to build resources to create original music videos, ones that could be produced remotely and asynchronously, which is a huge word for me to pronounce. I get that word about 50 50. But technically, listen to this. Our talented teams of music makers are playing and recording different parts of the same song alone at different times in different places so that it can be edited together in a studio. Very creative collaborations are coming to life while all are sheltering in place. Of course, this work requires funding. Good question, show us you're listening which is why we are together tonight. We ask you to make a generous tax-deductible contribution to Music in Place so that we can keep doing the work that we've been doing for the past eight months. Notice on your screen, look down below. Don't look at me, look down below. Musicinplace.org forward slash support or paypal.me forward slash Music in Place. And while you're seeing and hearing what we've accomplished, you can make your donation by opening another tab on your browser. And now, our first interview. I was able to catch up with a musician and a showman extraordinaire, my friend, Carlos Reyes. And we're here with the uh, most amazing Carlos Reyes. Uh, we've actually been in many different countries together, 
Heaven we have toured together, the world, yes. I can honestly say he's not only exceptional here, he's exceptional everywhere he goes. And we've been to Europe, Cuba, uh, unbelievable. But right now, we're talking about the Bay Area and music in place. And we're really glad that you are um, all over music in place and helping out where you can. Uh, yeah, I tell you, these times are strange. So uh, to have something like music in place uh, help artists of all genres and works, is that's fantastic. It is. And you've been one uh, to sort of learn uh, a little bit about live streaming. Uh, and you, I'm sure you've been helpful teaching others. Uh, we'll get to that. But we want to introduce a video that uh, I saw that I thought was awfully special. It's you uh, with a really featured highlight part of a Zach Brown concert down at Shoreline. And uh, that was fairly recent. Yeah, I've been very lucky to be able to do some shows with Zach and the band and my cousin. It, it's just, uh, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. I'm very lucky to play with a lot of great names out there. Well, we've got uh, some fun video taken by one of your friends uh of you and we get to see you on the super jumbo screen <laughs> i want to get the audience ready for this but you play the heck out of the violin so uh let's take a look shoreline stadium zach brown concert featuring carlos reyes That was amazing on stage. I, I can't wait to hear how you felt, but I have to notice you were not only playing your violin, but you were playing that huge audience. <laughs> you had them every time you pointed the bow. Now, how did that all feel, that live audience? Well, to give you a little story on that, the very first time we went out, you know, we had rehearsed the tunes that we were going to do, and <clears throat> Zach goes, Hey, man. I want you to start the show. I said, what? And he says, yeah. Are you kidding? He says, yeah, take two, three minutes, just do whatever you want, which being a musician, you know, that's a great honor when you have a superstar like that that just gives you the stage. And I just started playing. We felt the crowd. And then all of a sudden they jumped in. And I tell you, it was, it's just a, it was a beautiful feeling, beautiful feeling. That whole thing seemed like one big little living room. Uh, you were thinking right on your feet, and uh, that was very organic, very liftoff. Well, today we don't have that opportunity. Uh, we will next year. Let's all stay positive, and um, we look forward to getting back to live gigs. Uh, but you're doing something uh, that other musicians are doing that Music in Place is teaching artists how to do, how to get on the digital highway. Mm -hmm. So you're doing some live streaming uh, can you tell us a little bit what we're about to see? We're going to see a little bit of you playing uh, a live stream that you've recorded. Yeah, well, I think uh, all musicians have had to reinvent themselves. For me, I'm into the tech end of sound and instrument, amplification of instruments and everything. And all of a sudden, because of COVID, Oh, I got to learn about cameras and switchers and lighting and all this. And so uh, 
Music in Place has been great because they've taken some people that don't know too much, taught them some more, and the ones that have been doing it, another concept. And one of the things I've been doing is uh, these live streams in my friend's backyard because it was beautiful during the summer, sometimes with the whole band, sometimes by myself, sometimes I had to put tracks together. So, you know, I think uh, all musicians to keep going are reinventing themselves and streaming is one thing we got to learn how to do, and that's what I'm doing. Thank you, Carlos. And that's a great explanation on how it fits into our show, our fundraiser tonight. And uh, let's take a look at Carlos. Uh, we have a couple of, uh, we have one video set up, live streaming. Carlos Reyes, out there on the digital highway. Thank you, Carlos. That was a great example of what this evening is about and what you've been able to accomplish, making an awful lot of people happy with your music uh, coming right into their home. Well, I tell you, the streaming is one way that the musicians are, are getting some support back. Uh, music in Place is doing that on a big scale. So uh, it's really great to be able to have this opportunity to share. And I appreciate everyone out there that's putting a nickel, a dollar, a piece of paper, whatever it is that they're contributing. Thank you so much. As we always say, if you have a choice between a nickel or a dollar, a dollar's better. Yeah, it's quieter when it hits the bucket. Absolutely. Anyway, thank you, Carlos, for taking your time and sharing your talent. I uh, look forward to seeing you soon, and uh, be well. You bet, buddy. Merry Christmas, everybody. Carlos, that was just great. It was just great seeing you. I know you're watching it tonight, so tip of the beret to you, buddy. Um, got some great news, and this is going to be happening all night. I get to read off some names. The early birds who got in uh, early in the show, Richard D., 100 bucks, Stephen M., 1000 bucks. By the way, if your name is Stephen M., you might as well take credit, but if you didn't, then go ahead and put in your thousand bucks. Tom C, 100 bucks. Henry W, 250 bucks. Juanita N, 25 bucks. Leslie R, 100 bucks. And I think I know who you are. Thank you, Leslie. And uh, William P, 500 bucks. Oof. Stephen F, 100 bucks. Donna T, 100 bucks. That's 3,800. Let me do the math. 3,875. But this just in. Uh, I'm going to save that for later, but we, we're, it's coming in. But here is some good news that is right under that. To keep them coming, we have a challenge grant that's just come in for $10,000, which means the first 10000 that we raise will be matched dollar for dollar, meaning 10 gets you 20 But you got to do your part. And I'll keep you posted. Now, if you've supported us in the past, we thank you. And you're invited to do so again. We'll welcome you again. Your, uh, your donations are making it all work, and it's the only way we can keep it going. Just open up another tab on your browser, and you can donate while you're listening, or use your iPad or smartphone. Just navigate to either of our giving portals and donate what you can. It all helps. Now, getting back to our story. In addition to paying musicians to create video product, we go a step further. Musicians need to play music with others, and now they need to learn how to and how to adapt to the digital world, the virtual venue, like tonight. It's not just for the short term, but in the long term as well. You see, Music in Place trains musicians to make music digitally. They're learning to produce music in an entirely different way. They're able to join in on projects and create with others. That's a win-win and Music in Place pays them for their work. Well, that's another win to the win column. Music in Place also provides the gear that's needed for free, so they're able to learn, play, and produce videos. 
there's a lot to this, and we are very proud to be able to helping out in such an impactful way. Let's go back to the musicians and the music. I want you to meet Tony Lindsay and Deborah Winters. Tony's having a wonderful career and has been with Santana for decades, among other great things he's done in his life. And then we get to meet a songstress who can adapt to the big band and equally loves jazz trios. I've known her for a while. Please, that's Deborah Winters. But first, we're going to welcome Tony, Tony Lindsay. Yeah, I'm sitting here with uh, Tony Lindsay. And we've been chatting, actually, we've been doing more laughing uh, as we get to know each other, sharing our stories, uh, which we might just keep to ourselves, right, Tony? Oh, uh, that depends. <laughs> but your story... It was good stuff that we were talking about. It was great stuff. And, but your story is what's interesting for us tonight, for Music in Place, for our fundraiser, and how important this organization has become. And just this week, even more important, with the new uh, lockdown. So, uh, Tony, by so you don't have to say all this, I can say what I've learned is a frontline musician, singer, uh, you're going to see an incredible video coming up any minute, uh, plays with Santana forever, uh, is well known, is one of those people who is well known. So, Tony, get to meet the rest of the people. Uh, tell us a little bit about what it was like to work with the live audience and how MIP Music in Place fits in today? Well, working with a live audience is always great. And, and you know what is so funny, uh, right now, if, if you get to do any kind of thing with these, um, uh, doing a video, uh, live performances with no audience, we, we have learned that we really do miss and appreciate a live audience because we're singing into a camera and, and you're trying to talk to people and you have no idea if anybody's watching you or not. But you got to go and, and you have to do it like it's like you're actually doing a show. And it's, it's very strange, you know, especially with, uh, with the Santana thing and uh, performing in front of 30,000, 25,000, 50,000 people and, and, and sometimes even more than that. When you, you get that, that instant feedback from people, that's what they get your adrenaline going and keeps you going, man. But right now, uh, you really have to know, this is when you really got to know what you're doing. You know, you're talking about all these years of, of honing your craft. If we want to be a performer, now is a good time to test that and see if you really got it. Well, Tony, you're lucky that you have that energy to pull from, you know, because you just have to imagine those 30,000 people. Um, yeah. You do a wonderful, wonderful job on this produced video. All is one. Uh, I've seen it. I can't wait to see it again. Uh, let's tune into this. Tony Lindsay, All is One.
That's one of those songs that makes you move. Did you like that? I loved it. And I'm going to see it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was great. Well, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to be a shining example of what Music in Place is doing for our Bay Area community. Um, it's, it's very impressive. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people out there, your fans? Well, uh, you know, my thing is, is uh, right now, we are in a, a very a terrible situation. You know, um, it seems like things are getting worse and worse every day. But the key is, is we have to start taking care of each other. You know, we got to start looking out for each other, taking care of each other. Put the mask on, put the gloves on, wash your hands and all of that, because it's not, it's not just about the individual, it's about all of us taking care of each other. Not only that, um, we got to start taking care of our environment too. Because this global warming thing is for real, just like COVID is for real. And if we don't start turning things around, then uh, we're going to get to the point of no return where nothing can be fixed anymore. And that's not a good thing. I, I, I have plans to live to at least, at least 100 years old. 100 is my goal, minimum. I'd like to go past that. But I want to be around, man, because I, I, love, I love life. I love people. You know, I love performing. I love writing music. I'm, I'm here at my studio now, you know, still creating stuff. And it's just, it's up to us to take over and, and, and get us back on the right track. Uh, Tony, that could not have been better stated. Uh, we got to keep you out of politics, man. You have got, a, you got a great message. We okay. can't keep you into music. But that's what, that's what my song, that's what my song All Is One is about. Know. You know, if you look at check out the lyrics in that song. It's it's about exactly what's going on right now, and all is one. We are one, and that's Absolutely. true. And if you're going to make it to a hundred, that means you and I both have a lot of time to hang out with each other. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. I'm looking forward I, to that. Anyway, Tony Lindsay, you have, to, you have to see yourself there in order to be there, in order to get there. You have to visualize it. Like That's the right. huge audiences. Anyway, thanks for helping out Music in Place. Uh, that was a great rundown about how we really do appreciate you out there watching us and your support tonight by calling Absolutely. in donations. Anyway, Tony, I look forward to hanging with you when we start getting uh, in public again. So cool. meeting you. I'll be around. I know. I mean. Deborah and I could talk forever. I can tell already. You had a theater major. That's what got. That's how I got started. I mean, that we could talk for days about that. Any rate, you have developed into quite a songstress or singer, whatever the proper term is these days. And we've got some great clips to show. Uh, but why don't you say hello to the folks and why you're involved with music in place? Hi everyone. Um, yeah, thank you, first of all, to Music in Place and to all of you who have put this together to include me to be a part of it. I am honored and I am so delighted that Music in Place has been formulated and that people are supporting uh, this organization because it's essential right now during these times to um, be able to have an opportunity for people at home to actually hear and listen to live music as though they were there in a, a really well put together performance and audio from audio to video to be done top notch. So I really applaud the efforts in that that Music in Place has done. And I also am so grateful for the education that they supply to so many. And for me, through this situation that we're all going through as a performing artist, most of my income over the years has been through being an educator and teaching and helping others become performers and songwriters and do their own projects. So to have music in place out there still offering this during this time and to use 21st century technology, which we're all learning about and have it become more the norm than we ever expected. Uh, I'm learning so much. And uh, so I am grateful to be involved and be a part of it. And hopefully uh, my goal when I first got in touch with uh, everyone was say, hey, I want to do a concert uh, with, with my project because um, I've seen many of them and they're just, they're just gorgeous and so well done and very inspiring. Well, these are all great comments. And before it, we were talking about it really is all about education one way or another and enabling people 
to bridge the gap, the gap that now exists. Uh, but let's take a look at, you uh, put together a montage about what it was like um, at um, a live concert. Uh, let's take a listen to that. And this is the big band, Deborah Winters. And then we'll find out a little bit more what your uh, sidebar is. After all the days of spring have flown, after all the crazy times we've known After all the hopes and fears The dreams, the tears The troubled years are gone Isn't it a lovely thing to know Love can hold that golden afterglow after all our songs are played, our roses fade, our summers shade into fall. Well, Deborah, that really works. We got your voice. We got the movement of the camera. We got to see live audiences. Uh, what was that uh, a performance for, you and the big band? That was our first performance at the Throckmorton Theater in Mill Valley. It was the release of my CD, Big Band CD, on the Jazz Media label uh, for a project that I developed with uh, Peter Welker. He did all the arranging, and that was back in 2011, and it was a blast. <laughs> well, it, it, you could tell, and you're doing other work. You're very versatile, I know that. Um, you have a jazz group. I work with uh, Ken Cook on piano. He's a pianist that I've been working with for the last few years. We were doing a lot of duo work together. And one thing, as most performing artists know, especially vocalists, when you have a simpatico with another musician, there are certain things that can happen where you can just go somewhere and they follow you. And so working with Ken, we discovered that we had a lot of freedom together that way in a very creative aspect of our taking songs and manipulating them, which we both like to do. So we developed a program that we were just starting to release. We actually did our first concert with Sasha, Sasha Jacobson on bass a, a year ago, or this actually this last March. And then, boom, things just went down from there when uh, COVID happened. Well, the important thing that you discussed is ability of musicians to play with each other, get the best out of each other. Jazz in particular allows people to leave and come back and work together. So you're very fortunate to be able to work in that genre. Uh, and I think we're all very fortunate to have music in place be a meeting place where we can export our talents and still work together with that improvisational. Absolutely. And I do find in my teaching, I teach all ages. Uh, I've worked with a lot of young girls that want to write songs and help them develop their skills around that, doing arranging and being in the studio to help them record and produce. Uh, but one of the things that I always encourage them, if they're not sure which genre to do, I always introduce them to a lot of the jazz songs or the, the songs from the Great American Songbook. And I remind them about melodies and storytelling as they're trying to develop their skills to write and it ends up that many of them realize that some of the music they thought they liked they didn't as much and then they start developing how to play music that's much more sophisticated if you will and singing things that are more mature harmonically well discovery they're able to discover and that's only through having teachers and this is the new uh, digital venue where we all get to meet. Uh, we have uh, a clip of your jazz uh, that we're going to play some of, and then uh, we'll be right back. One day he loved you. One day he loses you. Tell me sweet words of sand love Twist. 
makes the changes. Yes, now I understand. Everything you said before came true there. Uh, Highly uh, interpretive, uh, jazzy, heartfelt, you know, that's American songbook type of music. Loved it. Um, thank you. You're so fortunate to have it and to now be able to export it digitally with the help of Music in Place. Uh, we're all learning something. But that's Deborah Winters, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, anything you want to say to your ardent fans out there? Oh my gosh. I just say, let's stay with it together and let's use this technology to continue music in our homes and support music in place and any other musicians that you know in any way that you can. And we will once again, someday soon, be elbow to elbow in a live performance. No doubt. I have no doubt. So we have to hold true to that. Thank you, Deborah. That was a great tip of the hat to the people who have been calling in donations all night. So thank you, um, and we'll, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you. Bye, Deborah. Bye-bye. Thank you, Tony and Deborah. Solid performers for Music in Place. Wow. Hey, I'm looking over here at our little uh, tote board. We've got all these computers going over here. Um, We've got this just in cumulative donations. So far, 8,775. We are getting close to the $10,000 challenge. So we thank you for your generosity and helping keep our musicians engaged. Now, what Music in Place does is provide short-term relief and long-term support through training and creating opportunities to work directly with digital media. And for many, I'm telling you, it's their first time. It's like that old saying, if you give a person a fish, they may eat for the day. But teach a musician to fish? Well, they'll sell a fish and make a down payment on a piano. <laughs> That's just one I wanted to get in there. Thank you, folks. I can hear the laughter. You know, music can be magical. And through Music in Place, these two talented wonders have teamed up to create a music, what we call musical magic. Patrick Martin and Lauri Mognani, please welcome them. When you are searching to express something that you truly love, be it in music, magic, or really it can be in any field that you really put your, yourself into, you're compelled to share it with others, an audience. For us in the performing arts, COVID-19 abruptly cut that off. Our connection with the audience was suspended. I personally felt incomplete, uh, like a part of me was missing. To be invited by Music in Place to work on a new project with other artists, well, it, it helped me for a time set aside the worries brought on by the pandemic. And this particular project challenged me to visually interpret pianist Laura Magnani's just beautiful rendition of Claude Debussy's Arabesque Number no. 1. Now, our collaboration was then further interpreted by our director, Johnny Rice, the filmographer Brendan West, and the entire creative team at Music in Place. That's the real magic behind the concept of Music in Place, bringing diverse musicians and artists together during this stressful era and help each other to pass through it. By practicing our craft and expressing the joy of creation. With you, all is possible when you wish it so. And now, please enjoy Premier Arabesque.
Merci, Monsieur Debussy. Love that piece. And the team. Illusion, illusionist. I can't even say that. I'm getting so excited. I got the great news to report to you. Illusionist Patrick Martin, pianist Laura Mognani, director Johnny Rice from ACT, and her own Brendan West uh, doing the shooting, and the technical sorcery of all at Music in Place. Now, I know this is all so entertaining, but recall it's your contributions that enable us to create the magic in the magician, the musician, and the magician's life. So be certain to go to Music in Place and PayPal. But now some exciting news. There's bells and whistles going over here and our different computers. Um, we just made the $10,000 match. Bam, thank you very much. Excellent. And uh, we have a new problem. We have a $5,500 matching gift. So here are the names that are people that are getting us there. Billy V, 250 bucks. David Y, 100 bucks. Robert D, 100 bucks. Dwayne C, 200 bucks. John Y, 50 bucks. Mike C, 20 bucks. Marsha B, 100 bucks. Greg K, 100 bucks. Mark U, 50 bucks. Doug G, 50 bucks. Ted H, 100 bucks. Stephen K, 100 bucks. Morna F, 100 dollars. David T, 1,000 dollars. Ted H, it's either another one or he. Loved it so much, he's in for another 100. Peter S, 50 bucks. Garth W, 50 bucks. Deborah D, 200. Stephen D, 100. Oh my gosh, this list this is so working. Deborah F, 250 bucks. Lee M, 100 bucks. Marcy P, 500. Thank you. Arlene S, 25 bucks. George M, 25 bucks. R, R, 50 bucks. Edward D, can you hear the rap? Can you hear the music that I'm doing? Edward D, 100 bucks. Stephen P, 100 bucks. Dana L, 25. And Marshall T, 1,000 bucks. Thank you all so much. Um, this is really good. Uh, I'm excited. I think it's a good time to go talk to my friend Leo Vigil. I'm here with my good friend Leo Vigil. Uh, we've had the benefit, I've had the benefit of seeing him play. He's a very powerful drummer, all sophisticated and sensitive, but I've uh, had the good fortune to sing in front of his drums, and believe me, you can feel the drums. So, Leo Vigil, what are you up to these days? Well, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, everybody's in the same situation, you know, especially if you're in the music business, there really is no business right now, and, um, you know, uh, we, um, I usually play concerts, festivals, and private things, and that whole tier is gone. So now it's, uh, I live in Orange County, I'm in Laguna Niguel, and Orange County actually had music up till this weekend. I banned for playing outside this last weekend, and I know in the Bay Area they weren't letting a lot of that happen. So, um, I've done a few club gigs here and there, you know, and, um, that's why this music in place is, is just phenomenal for musicians. It's helping us all that there's no work out there. So it's get, giving us a, you know, a platform to get out there, get our music out there, get our faces out there. And it gives you uh, a chance to play with other musicians, uh, gives many of the great musicians a chance to teach, uh, which is a great way to augment salaries. Um, You've, you've played for huge audiences. I, we've got a couple of clips uh, that we're going to bring up. Uh, one is, I think we start you out with uh, one that is, you, how did you describe it? It's your latest gig. Oh, uh, um, Walking on the Moon? Yeah, Walking on the Moon by the Police. You guys do okay. that. Um, well, yeah, it was actually Thanksgiving Day from 11 in the morning till one in the afternoon. Just a quickie and playing with some great players down here. Ron Kobayashi, who phenomenal keyboardist, and he played on three or four of my CDs, as well as the bass player, Baba Elefante. And they've played in here with me. We've done recordings in here. And, um, and, uh, and so it, the funny thing about that particular song, he just started playing it, and I went, 
I had something else, brushes in my hand. I thought he was going to do something. I went, oh, oh, whoa, walking on the moon? Really? You're going to do that? And it was fun. I, I had never really played it like that. So uh, um, I might have to steal that version. <laughs> All right. Well, let's give a listen to Walking on the Moon with Leo on drums, and we'll be right back after. <laughs> So that was a great uh, rendition of Walking on the Moon. And there was a lot of uh, separation. Some people had masks. And you said that was at a coffee shop in Fullerton? Yes, Play Coffee. Uh, it was outdoors. And yeah. um, it, it was fun. I mean, totally different atmosphere. And um, I enjoyed it. This is the reason that music in place exists, because Gigs are few and far between, and now it's nothing. Uh, yeah, but everybody is in the same boat, and we're doing something about it. Um, making digital recordings, doing live streaming. Uh, what have you been up to as far as uh, the technology side, or are you with Music in Place to learn how to do that? I am with them to learn. This is my first time doing something with them, and um, uh, I know Michael Hatfield very well, talented player. I love playing with him, especially when he plays vibes and we get to play pools. Um, Aaron LinkedIn, I know is involved with it. I've done a lot of shows with him, phenomenal player, as well as uh, Rod Marymore, who's a sweetheart, man. He's, we're drumming buddies and we like good wine. So uh, I need to find out more about it, actually. I, I'm glad they reached out to me because now it's making me learn about the whole pro program. And, and I want to go on and help because, um, yeah, I've, I've done a couple of like YouTube shows, Facebook Live, um, but um, I have yet to do one of my own. So uh, I'm in the process right now. Uh, I was supposed to go in the studio last month. I may go in uh, next month with it, or actually this month, uh, just because a little loud in here. The acoustics aren't the greatest in this room. So um, I hope to do more. You, uh, you hit the nail on the head. This is going to allow you to get involved with a lot of those people, to play with them digitally, and uh, put together some interesting music for all of us to benefit by, because music soothes the soul. And <laughs> the way you play it, it makes you dance like, like nobody's looking. Oh, so thank you. thank you very much. Um, we're going to sh showcase uh, your drumming skills uh, there's a lot of jokes about drummers. Uh, there's a lot of jokes about drum solos, but there's no joke about this drummer and this drum solo. So let's give it a listen. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. There was a moment there where I thought you had four hands. <laughs> uh, Great job. I miss doing that, man. All right. It's coming back. So thanks very much for spending time with us Thank and you. Uh, showing us how a great musician can fit in with music in place and help us raise money 
to help other people play music digitally with other people. Thank you very much. And I need to make a point of getting more involved. I need to, you know, get one on one, especially with like Rod and, uh, you know, Aaron and Mike. I need to get bigger involvement with it. Took a big first step tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Leo Vigil. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. And thanks for taking my request. And that was for not doing the 45 minute drum solo. That's our little joke. Now, let's check out this collage of our socially distanced live stream concerts. It's an amazing mix of musical styles. And please note that these are all paid gigs. For many, it's the only paid gig they'd had in months. And the opportunity to make music together, a rarity in these strange and isolating times. And now, a showcase from our recent Music in Place Fall Livestream Concert Series. One, two, one, two, three. That's life, that's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, no shot down in May. But I know I'm gonna change that too. When I'm back on top, back on top in June. I said that's life, and as funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks stomping on a dream. But I don't let it get me down, cause this fine old world, it keeps spinning around.
Wow, quite a crew. A little uh, symphonic action at the end. Buddy Love was in there. Oh my gosh, what a uh, Pamela Rose. All of so many, what a wide variety of styles. And I want to say thank you for all your donations. We're creeping in on that 5,500. So let's see if we can take it to do new heights. And uh, that'll take us a long way into new, the new year. Now, live stream concerts that we do, the parts that you just saw, are put together with strict COVID-19 protocols in place from a variety of venues. And here is a well-earned plug for the piano showroom at Piedmont Piano in Oakland. Go buy a piano. And a massive special event space with thanks to Craneway Pavilion in Richmond. Now, not only did dozens of artists get a chance to perform together live for a virtual audience, but they all got paid, which is one of the most important functions of music and plays. Also, the experience of working in a digital studio setting is so different from the usual gig at the nightclub, orchestra pit, or the concert hall. It's a new skill set for most and an important one that they need. Even the most accomplished studio performers rarely have to wire up their own equipment and be their own technical crew. When performing remotely, it now all falls to them individually. Again, give a fish, learn to fish, buy a piano. So go ahead, make your tax deductible donations. Thank you for everyone who's gotten us this far. It's the gas and oil that keeps us moving. No amount too small, but you all know that bigger is better. As an added incentive, we're going to mail you a Music in Place commemorative t-shirt with every $250 donation as modeled so well by Michaelia Merrymore. Should be a little picture of Michaelia. All right, so here's what we do. You can get mom. See, here it is. How's it? Now, Michaelia would have been much better to look at. Now, I got to meet up with Kenny Harrell, Harrell, Harrell the other day, and I'd like you to meet with him. Kenny? And I'm here with Ken Harrell. Uh, used to be called Kenny the Thrill Horrill. Fantastic guitar player. I've seen seen some of the tape on you. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what it was like when you were gigging out there before all this COVID was going on. I was pretty busy, you know, pretty much playing a lot of weddings. And every once in a while, I played club date. Yeah, um, all kind of gigs, you know, casinos, travel. Well, we've seen all of that come to an end for the time being. We're very optimistic about next year. But in the meantime, there's a lot of musicians that are learning how to get out there in the virtual world and share their talent. Um, and I'm sure you're one of them. But your learning curve is you're just starting to get involved with music in place. Is that right? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's perfect timing, too, because I've been working on my own videos and slowly trying to make them sound better look better so i mean you guys i met you just at the right time good well this is great you know it's a fundraiser so we're trying to we're trying to show what it is that we're doing you're a perfect example of how you're going to get a lot out of this and learn how to get that beautiful music that we're about to hear uh out there uh, into people's homes and into their hearts so let's take a listen uh to what it was like in the old days when you were gigging with a with a live audience. Yeah, shall we?
Well, that was a nice little club gig. Yeah, that was a fun gig. I remember that one. And uh, I didn't know anybody was recording that day, which probably why I played halfway decent on that. <laughs> and that was Tony Lindsay. He's a friend of yours, right? Oh, yes. The whole band, uh, John Arbor and Meyer Dove. Yeah, all the guys. Yeah. Great. Well, I think it'd be a good time to show off uh, your fingers just running all over the frets. Uh, this next video is... Uh, quite special this this clip uh is there anything you can tell us about it just... uh giant steps yeah it's a difficult song to play over but uh, uh some good things come out of bad things like covid and i actually had time to shed on that and before i forget how to play over it i posted it on youtube so uh i'm kind of proud of that one let's give it a listen yeah sure Kenny Harrell, that that was a thrill. I mean, well, <laughs> I'm so glad that a performance like that is on video. Yeah, that one's been getting more hits than the other ones I had put up recently, being you know stuck in place. Um, I think a lot of people are interested, and in, uh, especially younger people. Giant Steps, Coltrane. Yeah, and getting that music out there. Uh, with music in place, uh, you've got um, a collaborator, compatriot, people that will help you uh, get your music out there. And that's pretty exciting. I'm glad we discovered each other. I, I like that. And I think that's going to be great for everybody because, you know, usually before when I was doing the regular gigging, I really didn't have time to do anything but gig. So this is a good venue. 
Good. Well, it's a wood shedding time, and we will get through it. Ken, it's been great meeting you this way, and you too, uh, look forward to hearing more of your music. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken. That's what people call shredding it. Just beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, I just got another note. We found the picture of the uh, Music in Place t-shirt with Megalia. Where is it? Michaela, do you have it? There she is. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. She's not talking to me. Okay, never mind. That's a whole lot better than this. All right. Since we began in April, Music in Place has produced over 40 music videos, 10 live stream concerts, and collaborated with a diverse array of nearly 200 musicians, performers, and production professionals. You've seen a glimpse of it tonight, and it it's like the weather. You can always expect something new to come with Music in Place. This is all made possible through your generous contributions, so thank you very much. I've got another list of names, and you deserve to be, oh my goodness, I just, this just in, folks. We've now raised 22680 bucks. This is killer. This means we're only 2000 from meeting the new 5500 challenge. 2000 bucks. How long could this take? I want to thank Kathleen J for 25 bucks, uh, Linda A for 30, Lonnie F for 200 bucks, Nealis D, hello Nealis for 100 bucks, Griff A for 100 bucks. Vera F for 50, Nancy B for 30, Marla P for 100, Anthony B for 100, Neil L for 250, Richard S for 20 bucks, Ray Mick for 500, Joanna and Mick T for 100 bucks, and JP McB, that's 500 bucks, that's a good one, Amy W, 25 bucks, David D, 50 bucks, April W, 300 bucks, Richard L, 100 bucks, Matt P, 200 bucks, and Kevin E for 100 bucks. We are getting over the top, folks. This is really working, and this is all made possible by your generous contributions. Every dollar raised, so keep them coming. We have now raised the ultimate number, which I've already read, uh, 22,680 bucks. Uh, but we're not through yet. We've got a little left, and we got a great uh, testimonial collage coming up right now. Hello, I'm Rick Vanvier, and I want to thank everyone at Music in Place for feeding our musical community. The recordings that you produce are very diverse, very energetic, and very creative. Fun to hear, but inspiring. And I also want to uh, commend you for doing the live streams. And I'm fortunate enough to have done a recording for you, and I have to say that the experience was great. When I got to hear what my collaborators created, I was just overjoyed and uh, felt connected in a way that I hadn't anticipated. Hi, I'm Maria. No, I'm sorry. And we're Raise the Maze, and we were fortunate enough to get to do a performance for Music in Place. And um, we are here to encourage you to make a donation to Music in Place for their new fundraiser. All of the money is going toward musicians to be able to perform and get paid. Music in Place is a wonderful organization created by musicians for musicians. When this pandemic started, many of us who are in the arts and perform for a living saw as opera houses and theaters across the country started to close, saw a lot of our contracts basically up and vanish. And for many of us, the job of an artist is different than the job of say a teacher or a lawyer or a doctor, a plumber, all of those are specialties and what we do is a specialty as well. But for many of us, that job of being a musician or an artist is part of our identity. It's who we are. And when we don't have space to do that, um, when we don't have the ability to create that art, it makes us wonder, you know, what is our purpose? What are we doing? And so I would say the biggest thing that Music in Place offered me when this pandemic first started was the space 
and a reason to create art again. Music in Place really has been such a blessing to me and my band, the Alpha Rhythm Kings. And um, one of the main ways is just providing a place for us to perform and be heard and to have some income come in. And also I think that they're helping to bring to people's attention how important the arts really are because during this time it's the audience members as well as the performers who really need a chance to hear some live music. Hello everybody, Jamie Davis here. I want to give a shout out to Music in Place. Last month we had the privilege of uh, doing a virtual performance at Piedmont for Music in Place. A bunch of very professional guys and uh, the lighting, the sound was fantastic. So I'm asking you to go to their website and donate. Hi there, this is Javier Cabanillas and I had a great opportunity to record a tune called Ritmo Sticky with some great colleague friends of mine. And with MIP, I think what's definitely helped me out has been uh, two parts. One is put some direct money into my pocket, uh, some financial support that's helped out in a long way. But more importantly for me, uh, it's also given a, a breath of fresh air and, and uh, some encouragement. But working with Music in Place really gave us a chance to uh, have the joy of making music together again. and. Uh, we got to work on a new song and we got a spiffy, cool little video out of it. So uh, thank you to Music in Place. Thanks you guys for doing a great job and uh, you're a group that is worthy of support. Hi, my name is Lorca Hart and uh, I'm a drummer. I had the pleasure of, of being involved in two projects for um, Music in Place and I just wanted to extend my uh, appreciation uh, for the Music in Place team and especially during this challenging time um, it meant so much to have the opportunity to to record and connect and make music um, you know with some some great musicians and good friends and I'm just so appreciative that uh, the Music in Place team could could make this happen. Music in Place is giving us a chance to do what we do. Not only that, they're helping us to make it happen. And not only that, they're paying us to make it happen. An opportunity, a place, and financial support in continuing to be creative. I'm happy to say that Music in Place provided an exciting opportunity for my bandmates and me to compose a new song and create a music video. And we were compensated. Let's keep the music playing. Please, support music in place. Oh, that was, uh, I want to thank everybody who took the time to let us know how it hits them right where they live. And I also want to say thank everybody who stepped up for your generous donations. I was a little taken aback right then when we came back to me. I've got some great information for you, um, but I want to say before I give it to you, if you haven't contributed, our website will always be available. There's no time like the present. It's easy. Just go to either of the sites on the bottom of the screen. If you know the drill, all the major credit cards. If you want to write a check or have a check written through a donor advised fund, you can, all the information is right there at musicandplace.org. Now, listen to this. Uh, Tom W., 2500 He's going to get more than he's going to get the pants that go with the t-shirt. <laughs> Marcy T, a thousand bucks. David P, a thousand bucks. Billy J, a thousand bucks. Anonymous, it says it, 10,000 bucks. Those are the challenge donors. Got it. So we're doing fine. And 5,500, uh, we've made it. So all is well. And we're going to give you a total at the next break. So moving right along, listen to this run-up. Jazz, rock, blues, classical country, bluegrass, Broadway funk, rhythm and blues, salsa, prog rock, indie, Brazilian, singer-songwriter, gospel, and more. 
I personally would like to put into that mix a marching band, which has always been my favorite. We are the lucky ones, and we get to enjoy their artistry and creativity and all the joys that music brings. Music is the sound of life. It can produce a tear, or like I said before, make you dance like nobody is looking. If you find yourself with a bit of a tear building in your eye in a movie or even a commercial, I'm telling you, it's the music that hits you right here. Music is powerful that way. And our next guest can do it all. Classical to rip it up blues. I got to meet with Janice Maxi Reed and I find out found out why people rave about her. We're here with Janice Maxi Reed. This is the first time we get to look at each other, but uh, it feels like it was friendship at first sight. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, Joe. Now, I got to read your bio. So I know you got started playing piano at a very young age, and it's grown to such remarkable institutions where you've studied, University of California at Berkeley, Conservatory of Music here in San Francisco. Um, I know you've played with uh, and sung with two friends of mine, Lawrence Hobgood and uh, Noah Griffin, and that's just part of who you are. So tell us a little bit about You've been gigging live, teaching people how to sing, so forth and so on. What's, what's it like now that we don't have the audience? It's very strange. I miss it a lot. The one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, connection with, with the, 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 my colleagues as well as the students, I just miss it. It's just a lot different not being able to be in the room and to get that energy from inside the room. Don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful that we can do this virtually, but uh, there's some something added to being in person. Um, the experience is just totally different. And I know that the students and my colleagues missed it as well. Well, for us who like comedy, who do comedy, it's really tough when you don't get a laugh. <laughs> That's right, huh? never thought of that. And I love comedy too. Yeah, you can imagine applause, but it's you have to imagine a laugh. So um, you discovered uh, Music in Place or Music in Place discovered you. How did that happen? Well, I was invited by my good friend Carlos Reyes. Uh, we've known each other since junior high days. And he told me about it. And I looked it up and I saw some of my own colleagues uh, from previous uh, recordings, previous events. And I said, oh, wow, I didn't know this was happening. And it just seems like a very wonderful uh, experience and resource for other musicians and wider audiences. And have you uh, gone through any of the uh, learning curve here about trying to get, get out there uh, on the internet? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, well, in, uh, technology hasn't been my greatest suit. So I'm a, I'm a learner as we go. Uh, sometimes I get a little frustrated, but I, it's always good to learn new things. And uh, being a student of technology just reminds me, hey, I can be a student as well. So I'm, make, I'm making moves and grooves and I'm always calling people, my, my sons and friends who are really good at this thing and say, hey, can you help me out and get me a into this or teach me this move or whatever. So I'm getting help out there. Good, well, I think Music in Place turns out to be an incredible resource for all of us. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about um, this first piece showcases your classical training, um, Ave Maria. And yeah. as my good friend David Jackson said, it brings a tear to my one good eye. Oh. so well. And it really shows a part of you uh, that all that training really, really took. So is there anything yeah. you want to tell us about it before we go right to it? Well, that song um, means a lot to me. Uh, my mother and father were great fans of music. So when I came along, I was a fourth of four children, three older brothers, and they were all doing their music. And I showed up and mom says, I want you to sing to this song. So she put on a Marian Anderson song record you remember the records right and uh put me on a chair and said okay hold your hands like this and 
I started imitating Marian Anderson. Uh, little did I know, probably 30 years later, a couple heard me singing someplace and he said, would you sing for our wedding? Do you know Ave Maria? And I said, uh, yeah, I know it. <laughs> I wasn't in good shape, but I said, yeah, I know it. So I went back to my original voice teacher that I had at 13 years old. And I said, look, I've got a gig. They want me to sing Ave Maria. Can you help me? So my teacher broke it down and built me back up. And then over the years, I stuck, stuck myself out there on, on different stages. And I said, okay, this is what I do. And now it's morphed into like my most requested song now. Well, Who knew? it's most requested right now. Janice Maxi Reed singing Ave Maria. Let's give it a listen. the audience kind of get their composure back again thank you <laughs> thank you that song is obviously a blessing and uh hearing you sing it your mom was right by the way <laughs> mom, mom is always right i'll, I'll let her know <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness now there's another side to you uh that would make somebody just want to get up and move um I think we've got you with some of our friends. I think we have you uh, queued up uh, playing ensemble, but you're singing and you're letting it all out. Uh, I think Tony Lindsay's on this uh, and also Kenny Harrell. Am I getting his name right? Harrell. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm yeah. looking forward to meeting him next. And uh, this is almost like a music and plays family. So let's Let's hear you, Janice. Let's hear Let's this. Go. Totally different person. Same person, but totally different sound. Totally. Uh, thank you. So um, what are you looking forward to coming up uh, as it relates to music in place? Because this is a fundraiser, and we want to make sure that we're getting the message out from the people that are actually involved. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, music in place means just that. Um, I've now had to be invent myself and make myself more available as a music educator online. And so that's one of the, the new, new things is that I'm going to uh, uh, take a, into maybe a few more students, but I'm also going to uh, improve my skills in terms of making music from home uh, recording, improve my recording skills and uh, get some CDs manufactured and released. That's my, next goal. So it's just, you know, it's kind of been a blessing. It certainly has. And uh, it's great getting to know you. And I look forward to it next year in person and uh, going to a live gig. Uh, and Music in Place is going to get us all there. So thank you yeah. for taking the time to talk to all of us tonight. And thank uh, you. We'll get to see you soon enough. Nice to meet you, Janice. Nice to meet you, Joe. Thanks again. Best to you. Thank you, Janice. Ah, this is a great way to get to the 
to get near the end of our program. Um, it's been a lot that we've accomplished uh, since we opened shop in April. Uh, eight short, some people say long months ago. Uh, you can go to our website, our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or our Instagram feed. You can meet some of the 200 musicians and tech professionals that we've featured and funded this year. And if you haven't donated yet to Music in Place, now is a good time. It can be small or it can be large, or it can be large or it can be large. I think large is good, or you could make a large donation, but small is okay. Let me sum up uh, quickly that we, have pr we produce, we teach, and we pay. And we've got four programs right now that I wanna, I wanna showcase. The original music videos, we've done 40 of those. I've told you about that, and that's where the support is going, and it's growing by the week. We have a program called In Concert. That's the live stream concerts. Ten of them so far with more planned for 2021. In Place Productions. Now, helping musicians, helping venues, and nonprofits with digital production support. Providing employment for production pros. Again, we're not handing out fish, but teaching musicians how to <laughs> fish for themselves. No piano joke this time. And here's something to really look forward to. Music in Place in school. The kids win too. Guided by Music in Place Artistic Director Aaron Linkton, one of the top music educators in America. And I know this because he told me. <laughs> hold for laughter, hold for laughter, hold longer. It's a good joke. And I can kid Aaron because he's a friend and he really is one of the most revered leaders in academia. Now, this education initiative launches this winter. This is why we want to raise money for students and music programs from middle school through college and uh, young artists making it out on their own digital part of the part of the digital highway, I would say, and performers and technicians. See, we've seen the future and we feel that it's them. We've accomplished a lot in eight months, but there's much more work to do. We're up to the challenge, but we need your help. So please make a donation, and here it is, small or large, or large or large. I couldn't find it on my uh, notes. At any rate, Music in Place, we're happy to take anything that you feel is the appropriate amount, and every tax-deductible contribution helps. Thanks for being here tonight, and we hope you've enjoyed our music, knowing that you are helping make a significant difference in the lives of so many professionals and their families. Your donation supports collaboration and training so our cherished performing artists can recalibrate their careers and navigate these tough times. We have immense challenges that we all face. Still, with this program, we wanted to close on an up note. We opened with a music in place production called The Lockdown Blues by Garth Weber. And we're going to close with another music in place production written by Claire D. I'm Joe Lair, and it was my pleasure and honor to join the ever-expanding Music in Place community. Stay safe, stay healthy, and our best wishes for you and a very happy holiday season. And now, Claire D. with her original composition, enabled by Music in Place and your donation. There's good in every day. How do we find good during a pandemic? It's in the simple things. Every day may not be good, but there's good in every day. It may not always seem that way, and that's okay. Sheltered in place, home in isolation, without the rat race, with no compensation. But sheltered in place May have a silver lining Learn to embrace Some good and realign it Every day may not be good But there's good in every day Every day may not be fine With so much on your mind Every day may not be good But there's good in every day It may not always feel 
feel that way And that's okay Cause sheltered in place Sheltered in place They feel like detention uh-huh. Allow the space Refocus your attention Sheltered in place Is a blessing in disguise Take a break from the foot race Reprioritize Every day some great news that was a great great song clarity and i gotta tell you we have hit the high point congratulations all of you out there and all of us in here we just hit twenty nine thousand dollars a thousand more to end this just in wow cool we just got the last thousand so we're just dimes and that's where i come in i've got the dimes we're dimes short of thirty thousand Woohoo, everybody! Uh, then we are uh, we are pretty elated. Uh, I want to thank Brendan West Broadcasting from Hatfield International Studios. You guys were a joy to work for. Thank you very much. I'm signing off. Thank you.
Thank you.